Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the Swim to Me by Ellie Knox. I have read this as an ARC and I had to get it in physical form so I can show you guys that I've read it and you can see it. So I have got this, it is book one in the Midland Brothers series and I cannot wait to um, reread this and go through whatever Ellie Knox has brought out. So this is the cover. What happens when you accidentally fall for your swim teacher? And here is the back. Um, what happens when you accidentally fall for your swim teacher? After accidentally almost drowning in the pool, I found myself being offered swimming lessons by the hottest lifeguard I've ever seen. Seriously, Bray Millen could pass as a model, or at least some sort of celebrity. When I take him up on his office, obviously the chemistry between the two of us is electric. From the get-go, Gray's patient and, and attractive and kind. He's under my skin and he's in my system. Except there's the minor issue of my rule of no dating, plus he's my swim teacher. When Gray and I both agree to be a one night stand, I'm sure I'm is sure that this will be her way of getting over my simple sexual attraction to my swim teacher. But is it? For Gray it isn't, he wants more, but what would be able to pursue persuade me to bend my own rules to get me to open up and trust him? A worldly secret Gray is keeping Jack drown our relationship between us even even properly begun. This is like a big book as well. It did take me, I can't remember how long it took me. I gave this book five stars because I enjoyed it very much. I'm not feeling this. Every moment, every chapter, it had me screaming because I wanted to know what happened next. It was so good. Lila and Grey. Chef kiss, okay? Yes, please. Delilah goes into the pool to try and swim, but she drowns instead. And then Grey helps her, but he falls in love with her when she's when he, he like falls in love with her. Like, really? Oh my goodness. He helps her swim. Like, I wish I could swim myself, but that ain't gonna happen. But the tension between these two, oh my goodness, it was so good. I just love every aspect of it. Delilah and her friends go out to drink, and of course she's thinking about Grey, who then just miraculously turns up at the same bar, and he's given her the name Gorgeous. Like, mm, yes, please. Her friends leave her with Grey. She tells Grey, let's get out of here. Let's go back to her place. And she's like, I want you and I need you out of my system. So let's just have this one night stand. You know, nothing goes. He agrees, but it's not out of system. So yeah, day two stands and they continue on. It gets like over the weekend. This one night stand turned into like a whole weekend, weekend stand. It was so great. The spice is like a level two spice. It's not like spicy, spicy, but the spice is still there and it's still good <clears throat> she starts going out with him after everything with her ex the truth comes out when grey tells her that he used to be a professional swimmer and that he couldn't just lie to her but poor grey didn't realize how much that would hurt Deliah after knowing this because her ex basically was a douche and um and I really hated that. He was a professional swimmer, but he decided because he hurt himself, he wanted to tell the lie that happened. But she was like, No, you lied to me. I can't do that. <laughs> Excuse me. Delilah ignores Grey for a bit. Grey, to literally, Grey comes to her house, brings flowers, and him borrows and um, gives her the book that he borrowed from her. But instead, the book was a letter confessing how much he's sorry he is and how bad he, he's in love with her, how bad he wanted to make up to her. And she was like, oh my god, this is serious. He's actually doing all this for me and I don't know what else to do. He feels really bad. Like, I felt so low. I wanted to cry how bad he was trying so hard to get her back. How bad he felt. Even though he told her that this would happen. He was like, I have to. <laughs> Hang on. Sorry, a bit of dry throat. <laughs> so she gives him a second chance. But then the papers come out from his back then as the fan decides to put up a photo about with them. And she was taking a photo with him because she recognised him. Um, but she was like, so she didn't know exactly what to do. She's, so she's gone to her work and everyone's like, oh my god, she's getting pearl for ice. And he, she's like, but Grey did, he did, um, he knew exactly what to do and he made it right. He told, he said, he rang, I think, one of the newspaper articles and said, look, this has happened. Yes, I think I don't want anyone to bust me in my life. I don't want to think doing this. I'm not interested. I know I was a professional swimmer, but leave it as it is don't need to do it then but i did feel like it ended with a cliffhanger as, as i as like as, as i needed it ended with that the ending part i needed more and i wanted more like i want to know what happened next and yes i will be getting the book as you can see and i cannot wait to see what other books this author brings out excuse me 
because um I want to know more what's going to be happening in this next book because the way it ended I like feel like something's going to happen like I said book this is book one in the series so I do wonder what the book two is going to be and I feel like I'll be able to read the book two as an arc as well which I cannot wait um so yes now this is going to go on my shelf which I'm so excited for I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time bye